What's up guys, it's your boy Paul here coming at you with another video today. Look, today I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about opportunity cost and um, this might be a little bit of a scary video for you guys. So, um, I want you to take whatever um, dreams that you've had for 2019 thus far, or if you're watching this after 2019, um, take, take the dreams and the goals of what you've had for this year and take a moment, pause this video, and write them down. Okay, so now that you've written them down, um, I want you to take a look at them and see what, if you could have accomplished them, and granted, the year's not over yet, but if you could have accomplished them, what would that have done for you? What would that have done for you socially? What would that have done for you financially? What would that have done for you personally? Um, I want you to take a look and now write down what it would have done for you uh, in those three categories. Okay. So now that you've done that, um, this is an exercise that I did with myself purely financially. Um, I did it in the realms of what opportunities have I had since... Uh, my landscaping business. So since selling it, uh, what opportunities have I had? And on uh, a very conservative guess, what could those have brought you know me in month to month? If I would have you know put some initial time in up front, what could those have brought me up you know month to month up front? You know, so I had like a grand, two grand, you know, grand over there, and. Uh, you know, it was pretty scary when I did this exercise because doing it conservatively, the opportunity cost of not going in on any of those things because I had to work on myself and, you know, there's a lot of things that I was dealing with, as I'm sure many, many of you guys uh, relate with. Um, but for me, it was $361,000. $361,000 uh, because I waited. And you may say, no way. I don't even believe that. Well, look, some of the opportunities that I had, um, they were with people who were already in business. So there were things already going and people just wanted me to join, right? Um, you know, there was investors uh, who I talked to for uh, a few ideas who were willing to fund something. Um, and it's just like, I you know, saw that my waiting cost me $361. Uh, $361,000. Now, that's purely financial, but think about that. I wanted to give you that example because um, maybe it can make you relate for whatever category it is that you are looking at. And so sometimes we are way more short term, like, we think a lot more in the short, short term and long term, like, oh, I'm tired today, I'm not gonna do the work, right? Um, oh, you know, I can skip out on, you know, going to yoga class today because I got, you know, to take care of the house, whatever, I got to take care of whatever else is on my plate. And you start looking at the effects of what, where you put your time, like where you spent your time versus where you should have put your time and it's just, it's this whole idea of opportunity costs, right? It's this whole idea. Um, and it's crazy because I feel like so many times we choose the wrong thing. Like so many times we choose comfort, we choose um, whatever else the case may be over the thing that we should do. And I'll tell you this, although this isn't the cure, um, it probably will give you a little bit of a sting and a little bit of a zap when you realize, wow, me choosing not to do the things that I know uh, I should do has cost me so much more than if I would have just done the things. Because let's, let's take a few examples. Let's take uh, purely physical, okay? Like let's say that you're wanting to go work out and like that's a new thing that you're trying to do. Um, the opportunity cost and the choice that you made was to not go work out. 
okay? Uh, you chose to spend your time doing whatever else. The only factor, because you spent your time regardless, okay? So this is not an issue of, I didn't spend the time. This is just, where did you spend the time? And so as a result of not, you know, not working out, what then happens after that? Maybe you lose some muscle mass, maybe uh, you skip a few more days because you've already skipped one day, uh, maybe gain a little bit of weight, maybe now, uh, because you stopped working out for so long and it all started with just one, maybe now you have to go to the doctor for something um, and there's just such a huge downstream effect. Whereas if you were to say, no, I know I don't feel like it, but today I'm going because I'm going to build a habit and this is who I am. Well, now your dividends pay you know, tenfold on what good health is and on what your energy levels are and all the things that health, you know, entail. Um, and it's just like crazy, like when you think about it, like say you're trying to start reading a lot more. Okay. Today you chose to watch TV instead of read. Um, and then a week ago you chose to watch a movie instead of read as well. So now you're behind two days, let's say on your reading goals. So what does that mean for the year? What does that mean for the month, right? What does that mean for um, how that's gonna affect you? So I want you to start thinking of like not choosing, how do I say this? When we think of like opportunity cost, it's, it's, it's the idea of getting the highest return for where we put our time and it's going to be at the expense of something else. So say we have two opportunities in front of us, right? This opportunity will yield us, you know, let's say $5,000 a month. This opportunity will yield us $10,000 a month. There's an opportunity cost to take in play, but let's say that this one takes more time to build, right? And so in the beginning, it's this opportunity cost is going to be much higher because you don't see the payment right away. And let's say this one's 5,000 a month, but um, it comes in very quick. So this, you're gonna see if you take like 10 years down the road, your opportunity cost ended up being so much more because uh, this 10K a month opportunity and then the opportunity to build up, whereas this one is capped at 5,000. And so it's all in dependence of like, you know, where you put your time and what the returns are and everything like that. But I want you to think about this in terms of any area of your life that you're just not hitting your goals. Look at, look at what the opportunity cost has been and what results have come because you chose not to do the things when you know that you should have been, right? Write it down. I want you to write it down. I want you to look at it. I want you to say, like, I, this, this is what I want you to do. Sorry, I have like a little zip tie thing in my dear. Um, this is what I want you to do. Your goals for whatever year you're watching this, if this is 2019, great, but if it's after, okay. Um, look at the person who you predicted yourself to be at this point uh, in the year. You know how excited that made you at the beginning of the year? Like, that's why you made that goal? You were like, wow, by September, you know, I was going to know how to code. I was going to have read 30 books. You know, I was going to be do making, you know, $7,000 a month. Um, what, I mean, whatever your goals may be, you know, I was planning to be able to do, you know, a 225 pound bench press, whatever it may be, you envisioned yourself as that character for this month in which you're at right now. And look at where your choices have gotten you thus far because you chose comfort. Because you chose comfort over doing what your goals were asking of you and just sit with it. Just sit with it. One of the things I tell people all the time is you have to make it emotional. I'm a, um, when I process things, I'm very logical, but it doesn't matter how logical you are. If you want change, um, emotion's going to get involved. Emotion's got to get involved. We are emotional creatures. Um, and so you got to let it sit. You got to let it simmer 
about how your choices have brought you to where you are and how excited does that make you? Also, how does it feel knowing that you didn't keep a commitment to yourself? Look, I'm asking you these questions because I ask myself these questions and truth be told, they sucked. Because it's like, look, you can BS a lot of the people around you, especially if you're good at talking, but you cannot BS yourself. You can lie to yourself for a while, but you still know. You still know. Ah, oh, you know, I, I've been working so hard this year. I just, the days that I took off, I mean, I, I needed those days off. Okay, you needed 50 days off. You needed 25 days off. Okay. I mean, you know yourself. You know yourself. So, this is a video and a exercise that is meant to sting. If it stings, that's good. Because I want you to look at where you should be right now and why you're not there and what your choice and why your choices have led you to where you are now, right? And looking at the opportunity costs and all the ways that you spend your time. Every hour there's, there's you know, that, that theory in play, the opportunity cost. Do I go talk to someone? Do I go read a book? Do I go learn something? Do I relax, you know? All those categories are good too, by the way. All of them. Relaxing is a good thing. Sleep's a good thing. Socializing is a good thing. Learning is a good thing. Making money is a good thing. All these are good things. But it's in alignment with what you wanted for your goals. Where are you in terms with that? And did you place good things to be great things at the demise of your other things? So. Um, look, do that exercise, let it, let it hit you, let it sting, um, make adjustments based off that, and now readjust for whether this is the beginning of the year, middle of the year, or uh, near the end of the year, readjust to where you are back on track for your goals that you set um, at the beginning of the year for yourself, okay? Do that, let me know how that goes for you. Uh, I would love to hear your story. Um, if this video helped in any way, Leave it down in the comments below. Uh, I love hearing from you guys. I want to hear from you guys more. Um, you know, if you know someone who can use this video as well, you know the deal. Send it to them. Send it to them. Um, give it a like as well, and be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next videos as I come out with these on a consistent basis. All right, see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.